Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your February beginning of the month reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friend, let's see what's going on with you. Getting straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you for the beginning of the month. Best message. And remember, this reading is for your sun, rising, moon, or Venus. And if it doesn't resonate with you, you can go watch one of the above, <laughs> of the other ones. Whichever one you're not watching. Okay. Let's see. Hold and tight. Taking control of a situation and holding it tight. And it's a firm grip that you've got going on over here. So whatever you're really gripping onto, you're definitely not going to allow it to escape or get away. Um, definitely standing your ground. Wow. So standing your, taking control of the situation for sure, standing your ground. You straight into the situation. A situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. We have movement choices and decisions are being made at this time as you're standing your ground, taking control of the situation. There's no truth to that situation in the recent past and in the near future. You do have some patience, though. Um, so really gaining some patience in the situation, not allowing your patience to get away from you. Holding tight to that, too. Um, really standing your ground. Remember, the standing your ground is the overall card for the reading. Um, so definitely defending your actions and standing your ground, not allowing anything to um, get out of control or get away from you. Okay, so. Well, where there's no truth, there's lies. So whatever lie is going on in the, in the recent past. Wow, the lie on top of the lie. Don't tell me. There was something definitely imbalanced and not fair. Um, I see the not fair. You're lying. That is not fair. Wow. Okay. Causing a dark cloud about the situation. There's definitely a rift going on over here. It could be with a, definitely a Libra, a Pisces, or a Leo. Um, could be anybody though. Okay, guys, but that's really what's coming up. And I'm telling you right now, whatever is going on over here, you're saying, this is not fair. This is why I'm standing my ground because you are lying about the situation. Literally untruthful. Um, with the hangman over here, you are taking action um, by standing your ground um, to this unfavorable um it almost feels like a broken promise as well. Almost like they, they lied about a promise that they made to you um, with the sun upside down. I'm hearing broken promises. They lied to you. They try to even maybe come up with some sort of um, half-truth to the situation. And you're looking right through it saying, I see right through you uh, with the red flags going. And you're saying, Pfft. it's causing a dark, a dark cloud. I'm just going to say a rift between the relationship of the two of you in the recent past with the movement, choice, and decisions you are holding tight to the situation and taking control over this lie um, and making sure the movement, choice, and decisions are in your favor and they are favorable. You do have a great judgment call coming out though. So some kind of prayer is being answered over here um, about the situation um, in which someone is coming to say something. It becomes a third party situation because they're saying this person is lying to you um, they are guilty. Could be also dealing with a Capricorn. Got Cap coming out. Uh, could be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus as well, my friends. For those of you who said it was not this person, but uh, definitely saying that they are guilty. You have someone coming to you saying they are guilty of the situation. This actually puts some light where the darkness was because this prayer is answered for um, the situation at hand where you're still standing your ground. And they're saying, I see where you're coming from. I see that they are guilty of this lie, um, not coming towards you to even apologize to the situation at hand. But at least you can rest easy now because you do feel like they were caught in their own lie. <laughs> By this other person still standing your ground, though. You're standing your ground because you don't want this person coming towards you because it does feel like they're not going to come back to apologize, but they're definitely coming back to say some uneasy things about the situation. Where they are caught lying and they're caught justifiably um, unfair, however you want to see it. 
however your story is, my friends, okay, it doesn't matter, right? Because they're no knight in shining armor. They, you know, it feels to me like what the problem is, is that they went and lied to someone else. So if they want to forcefully come back to you and say something like, uh, what, did you get this person involved in the situation? And you're like, no, look, they came, told me this. I just feel that they got caught in a lie with someone else. Um, and you are standing your ground, but they are forcing their lies, making you come, making you defend yourself, making you stand up for yourself. This lies, it's third party situation as well. If they are actually caught in a third party situation of cheating, the che the person they're cheating on is the person who's going to come and say something to you. It just looks like whoever the other person is who's going to give you the good news. If they see it your way, they know what the situation is. They lied to them too. Take it how it resonates. They're very upset about the situation. They're trying to say they're, it was the perfect timing. It was almost a karmic call over here that they got caught juggling um, the situation, lying and causing drama. It gets them all in their head because now they can't hold on to that lie anymore. They got caught lying. They, they can't hold on to that anymore. So now they have to get stuck inside their head. And where they know that they tried to come and be forceful and try to say something to you and forcing whatever they want, their pretend truth or whatever, they end up getting stuck inside their mind. They're, they're stuck because they know there's no negotiation through the situation because you see right through their truth. This God's, causes some kind of separation. It's unhealthy to stay with this person, though, because this person is just a liar. I don't care if it's a family member or a love. I don't, it doesn't matter. With the death card over here, it's saying that there is definitely something that's going on to the situation where you're going to end up letting it go. Um, it's going to take a huge transition of the way you see this person and the way you believe the words that are coming out of their mouth, right? It just feels like they want to get a bunch of people involved in the situation and they end up getting caught in their own lie. Um, that's really what it is. Or they lied to someone else, however, and they seen the truth. Uh, with patience over here, just having patience. They definitely have somebody else very upset beside yourself. Um, as you're saying patience over here, you're going to be listening to this other person who they lied to, who came to you to tell you about this lie um, or this situation and how they travel towards them. You feel like if they travel away from you, you'll have better victory because you don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, yeah, because you found new things and new, well, and new ways out of it. I, I don't know who this is for, but I'm definitely bringing that up. I don't know what that is, but with the six of, of swords over here, the, this image that I got inside my head was somebody, the person who's pissed off at them and the reason that they, they're telling you they are liars or they're doing this, if it's not your story, throw it away. But something that had to do with the car, they said that they were going to take the car. They traveled in the car. They said they were taking the car for a joy ride, but they said they didn't take the car for a joy ride. They actually took the car. They actually stole the car. What the heck is that? With the king of wands upside down, they totaled the car, lost the car, got a car accident, sold the car. What the heck is that? And this is the near future. In the near future, this person is really pissed off. It could be a Leo. It's almost like they, but I don't feel like they borrowed the car. I mean, maybe for some of you to say, no, they borrowed the car. But it feels like it's like, I keep hearing joy ride. I didn't steal your car, he says, or she says, I borrowed your car. So it would be under joy ride in the law, right? But something happened, like I got in a car accident or <sighs> so 
someone totaled the car. Or is going to. They're guilty of totaling the car. Tower upside down. And you're patiently over here just kind of listening. And it's almost to the point, though, where you're saying, it doesn't matter, though. Right? It doesn't matter because I told you. I told you that not to trust them. I... Yeah, you get this message. This message that they like totaled the car. Okay, for those of you who that doesn't resonate with, though, but I, I have to bring that up because it's really, it's a big one for somebody. Maybe they had taken off in the car before or in the present and said it was a joy ride. And this time they actually took off in the car and they weren't supposed to and they actually totaled the freaking car. If you're like getting this message, but you're saying, I'm patient, I, I can't do anything for you. I can't help you with this. I can't help you. I told you to stay away from them. I can't be of service to you. I can't help you. There's nothing I can say. I stayed, I told you to stay away from them. I told you to stay away from that area. Okay, so... I don't know what else to say because it is really what it is. I'm traveling and, and then some kind of catastrophe happens that they did to this other person and you're like listening and you're saying, but I told you to stay away from them. You have to take it that way, you guys. It's the way that it is. There's no real way out of that. You know, you could say it was a little bit different when the time comes, but I'm telling you, you're getting this, me this message of something horrible that this person ended up doing to this other person. They stole something from them. They traveled towards them and then they took off in something. They did something and they ended up totaling and uh, ended up crashing, crash and burn. And you're saying, I can't help you. There's nothing I can do. I can't do anything to you. I can't get to you. I can't do anything. But it was almost like the past is replaying itself and somehow. So they did something. See, the past, it's like I said, like they took off in the car before. They did something. Whatever they're doing in the present to this other person, it's like, even if it's not 100% the same, it's still really bad behavior. And maybe it's even bad behavior times 12, times 10, uh -huh. times 10. But you're saying, no, I have success over here. I, I can't get involved in that because it causes me overwhelming pain. I can't get involved in that. My life is, my grass is greener by having this person stay away from me. I can't be going backwards with this person. Because when I go backwards with this person, they always put me in this energy over here. I can't be there. So I'm not giving any anything to this because I already know, already know what they do. And what they do is they're under determined to listen or to do anything that is right. So I can't help them, right? I can't help them. They have to help themselves this time. And it's almost like you're kind of saying, I'm sorry this happened to you and I understand you're furious and it kind of even infuriates yourself about the situation, but there's really nothing you can do. So because you had to kind of bring it to the death point to where you get yourself out of the situation because it just ends up this way every time. And it's like one red flag after the next flag, after the next flag, at least over here when you get the good news, at least you feel like they're on your side, like somebody's seeing it from your point of view. The shitty thing about the story though, and about this scenario is, is not only can they cause one person a bunch of pain, but they can turn around and do something horrific to somebody else. And there's nothing that no one really can do about the situation. They may even end up going to jail for the situation and there's nothing you can do. And even if they're calling you and telling you, hey, you know, can I get some bail or do something or you help me bail me out or however the situation is, you're saying to everybody, Everybody, I am not of service to you. I can't do anything for you. And there could even be this unwillingness to even want to try, right? Especially if it's this person who's causing all this havoc. If they go to jail, they want to try to call you for bail money or something. 
you're saying, I'm not bailing you out. I'm not doing anything to help you out. Um, this other person, can you help me with my car? Can you help me? With my, I'm unwilling to do any. I can't do anything for anyone. I have to worry about myself. Because you're getting pulled back into all of this stuff that you stood your ground to get out of. Um, and it just feels like here it comes again. And, you know, it's like right at the end of Mercury retrograde, here comes all this BS that you're saying, I don't want this, right? I've already put up with enough in Mercury retrograde over this crap. I definitely at the end don't want to be pulled in over here. And this feels like it's around the 14th to the 17th, my friends, that this is going to happen. Oh, welcome Valentine's Day. Why can't we just have love and, and you know, cookies and donuts and chocolate and roses? No, I can't have that. Instead, I get this horrible phone call about what horrible things you, you know, they're doing to people. And it's just kind of horrifying in its own way because um, it's like a good and a bad for you. The good is, is that somebody finally sees it your way, but then it turns terribly horrible because now you see all the crimes that they can actually commit um, against another person, no matter how it is. Um, and it's just a shock. There's a lot of shocking things here. We got the death card. We have the um, tower. There's a lot of shock and overwhelmingness to this story of how far this person could actually take the actions. Um, and it, it is pretty much a mind blow. But what it's really, I think, the, the lesson here for you is standing your ground and saying, I'm not taking it anymore, right? And I just, I have to keep myself away from this type of behavior because it's, it's too overwhelming. Right, especially when I just got past a lot of this stuff in the recent past over here. Okay, so wow, the lying and then them doing all of this stuff and then them turning around and doing it to somebody else is just wow, very overwhelming, my friends. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye bye.